So you've made the decision that your executive team is got to get a executive offsite on the calendar. It's time. It's got to happen. This is going to be an essential component to mobilizing your energy, your focus, uh, driving some team focus and really um, pulling, helping the team pull together in a cohesive manner rather than splintering apart. But how do you know if your team is actually ready, willing, and able? In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can assess your readiness, your willingness, and your ability to actually make the most out of the time and the energy and the investment of having an executive offsite. So the first thing to consider when really galvanizing everybody together in an executive off offsite is your team's readiness. Now, time is everything, and there is no shortage of business mission critical type of meetings and a regular cadence of conferences or other um, challenges that you need to meet in the marketplace as things change in a given year. So trying to find any time for an executive offsite is conundrum number one because their calendars are always so busy and there's always something going on. Now, one of the things though you may want to consider is the readiness of the team to deeply focus beyond a business analytical rational kind of mindset to get into more of an authentic open sharing where there's human to human exchange and that allows some emotional vulnerability now if their nervous systems are dysregulated because the marketplace just changed dramatically and some competitive move now threatens the very foundations of your business model or you've just learned that you might be acquired, this probably is obviously not the best time for an executive offsite because people's ability to move beyond that crisis management mode and really sink into not only the logical kind of strategic business assessment, but the heart to heart and the emotional intelligence that's gonna be important to dive into to strengthen team cohesion, that's gonna be more challenging. That's kind of more a time to have a targeted intervention, much like urgent care or triage, right, in the ER. Let's do what we need to do to strategically get more in alignment. And then if we can stabilize to a certain degree, then let's look at what's possible for the team. Now, we do think readiness-wise, it's good to look at important milestones in your journey, you know, barring any kind of major disruptive event, are there milestones in your journey strategically or in the evolution of pulling the team together that make it kind of a critical inflection point where you need to reset your team's energy, not just their focus, but their energy and maybe elevate their perceptions to say, you know what, guys, everything that helped us succeed up until this point has been so invaluable. And given these changing conditions, what got us here won't get us there. So let's have this time together to really look at what's necessary to expand our mindsets and our ability to collaborate together to be successful. So these are some elements to consider when you're considering readiness. And so once you've considered readiness, the next piece is their willingness. And so we talk about willingness. It's not just, yeah, I'm willing to take two days off, right? Even though I have a lot on my plate, you know, I, I guess we should go do that, right? And it seems like other people are doing it, so maybe we should do it as an executive team as well. What we're talking about here is willingness, in some cases, to let go, to let go of past ways of thinking, to step into new ways of thinking, to let go of old mental models that you might be holding, beliefs, assumptions you're making about the way things is, the way the business operates, and be willing to take some time and create space to explore what else might be possible if we thought about this in new and different ways? We leveraged our own individual creativity and the creativity of the team. If, if you're willing to do that and to be curious, to be open, to stretch yourself, to be uncomfortable, to be authentic in terms of you know, how you might show up in that offsite, then you, your willingness is there, right? Yeah. So now you have readiness, now you have willingness. And the last piece is your ability. How able are you during that offsite to be fully present mm -hmm. in a distracted world, mm -hmm. which we live in? Mm -hmm. And so how can you get yourself to be fully present, to openly share, 
and to be authentically exchanging feedback mm -hmm. and, and communication with others about things you deeply appreciate about them and things you need them to be different for them in terms of how they're showing up, how they're interacting with you. Mm -hmm. And be committed to yourself for being accountable and taking the actions you need to be the better version of yourself as an executive leader, as a member of this team, and to hold the team accountable for the things that you need others to do for you collectively to be successful. And all of this ability is focused on establishing a foundation and then keeping momentum going, coming out of that offsite. Absolutely. And so for your team, is this the right time? Is this the right kind of space for you to gather the team together? Please consider your readiness, your willingness, and your ability to make the most of your time. This is a significant investment of energy and focus. And when done right, it can mean a quantum leap forward in terms of team cohesion, energy, and results. But you better check the readiness, the willingness, and the ability first.